All right, and it is my pleasure to introduce to you Aurora Dash, who will be running Celeste for all of you. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for running with us. So uh, before we get started, uh, I just wanted to ask, is there anything you'd like to tell chat uh, about the game, about this run, or about yourself? Um, well, first of all, um, sorry, I'm kind of, I'm a bit nervous at the moment, but in this run we go through the game's a platformer with a lot of very complicated movement in it, and there's a lot of tech that's going to be like hard to explain because it'll be going by so fast. And um, in this category, we go through um, 14 of the game's levels, whereas any percent only goes through nine of them. Um, basically, um, in each of the first seven chapters, um, we play like the base chapter up until we find a cassette tape which unlocks the B side. Basically, uh, it's basically an extra level which is generally harder and um, kind of builds on the ideas from the first one. And so then we finish that to unlock the next chapter and do that for like each chapter. That, that, that was a bit confusing, I know, but. No, what? Uh Fantastic. I'm I'm extremely excited to see this and I see a It'll lot make of folks. Sense when you see it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, a lot of folks are really hyped for this. So thanks again so much. Um hopefully it'll I, be worth it. Yeah. Uh I, I think on your count, uh we can get this started whenever you're ready. All right. Um I suppose I'm as ready as I'm gonna get, so um Um, I guess I'll start the countdown. Um, four, three, two, one, start. All right, so. Here we don't really have access to any of our abilities, so. Um, those little hops add a tiny amount of speed. It's not too big a deal, and we're already out of there. Um, next, we go into Forsaken City A. Um, this is a uh, short level. Um, most people really like it. It's um, extremely optimized. I'm sorry about my loud keyboard, by the way. I'm notorious for it. Well, louder keys mean more accurate inputs. Um, anyway, um, the first trick here is the top route in crossing, which. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, that's not really a very important trick anyway, and... Anyway, moving on. Here's where we diverge. Um, that was diagonal demo dash there. Um, basically a demo dash is... It's a glitchy dash which, um... lets you crouch and dash at the same time, which... It basically manipulates the hitbox and does a couple of other useful things. Diagonal demo dashes have really awkward inputs, so we only do a few of them. Uh, one now, have a moment, I have on. a donation to read. Whenever's a now, good time. Moving. What was that? No. Whenever, whenever's a good time. Uh, but, uh, yeah, don't let me interrupt. Okay. Um, uh, this is City B, which is... It's not too long, but this is a major run killer early on. 
We do a couple of fancy um, bike jumps there. That's one. That's one's got an easy setup. Um, the second one, it doesn't really have a setup. There's usually enough space to. Oh no. You got to see two ways to do that room. There's a um, corner boost here where you grab the right pixel and do a demo dash to skip through all of that. Um, that saves about a second, even more if you want to like totally YOLO it, but that's um, only really IL viable. Now we've entered the scrap pit, which um, it's got a lot of precise jumps off of these traffic blocks. Hopefully I'll kind of get more in the zone as I go along, but... Um, every B-side ends with one with the heart room, which has these alternating blocks again. Um, nearly all of them have these scary fast cycles that you can do. Oh no. The game crashed. Uh, well, it's not a marathon without some technical difficulties, so uh, we'll go ahead and get that sorted out. I'm... This is kind of unprecedented. I'm feeling kind of... At least it registered that we finished the level. That's good. Um, Excellent. Yeah, no progress lost. Um, so in the meantime, while sorting this out, I'll go ahead and read some donations uh, to uh, cheer you on. Uh, we have a $200 donation from Scarab saying, Ah, Celeste! Ah, Oridash! Ah! Very enthusiastic. And <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And that brings us total, uh, our total just past $7,700. Whoa! And it looks like the game's back up, so fantastic. Okay. Um, chapter 2 is the old site. This is one of the only categories where the old site is the shortest chapter. Um, old site A in particular, we um, don't spend much time in at all. We don't even leave the starting checkpoint. That was the cutscene glitch we saw there. Um, that's a little time save, which... Um, and then the tape is just down here. And we're already out of there. Fantastic. Um... Site B is a lot of fun. Some people think it's the easiest B-side. Um, in any case, it's got great music and... This is where like the attack with the dream blocks really reaches its peak. We do a lot of double jumps out of them, which basically... Faster and more hack. Here we do the bob route, which is right, left, and center. Um, you can fit through there. I have no idea why that works, it just does. Shout out to Bob. Now we're coming up on doorbell skip. Basically, these key coins, there are some in the next room, and we skip them with a well timed corner boost. Oh no. Like that. If 
can dash through there. That used to be considered the hard trick, but it's been surpassed many times since then. Is everything still going well? Everything is looking fantastic. Yay! And these inputs are incredibly precise, is that right? Yeah. Um... This is Altar Skip. Um, that used to be like one of the hardest tricks in the whole game, but um, Fish McMuffins found a um, really consistent setup for it, so now we can do it in full game runs. And that's chapter two. So I'm hearing from Scarab in the chat that you are apparently rank one for every single B-side, is that right? Um, that's correct, yeah. That is amazing. Thank you. Anyway, this is chapter three, the Celestial Resort. Um, tape is very deep into this level, so we get to see most of it. That's the only berry we pick up in the whole run. And I think it's kind of going to be quiet for a bit, so if there is any announcements to make or donations to read, this would be a good time. Uh, we are all caught up on donations right now. All right. chat saying that is amazing uh also saying that you are an absolute legend at this game and uh, as we can clearly see this is some absolutely fantastic precision gameplay thank you yeah this the movement in this that huge mess area and well this whole checkpoint is called huge mess it's it's very very intricate and lets you really you can really see everything that goes into it, if that makes sense. So one of the things, probably one of the most famous things that demo dashes can do is clip through a certain kind of spikes, and this we do the first one of those here. Um, that's pixel perfect, but there's a way to set it up so that you've got a reasonable frame window for it. Well, I, I basically did a double take looking at that one. Yeah, there are a few more of those later on, but... Yeah. Coming up to the um, OG shaft demo, which is the first application of the tech, but we don't do that in this category, I'm sorry. We get to go down here instead. And there we go. That was that was just blinding fast. Every single stage is just Thank you. 
amazing to watch. Um, this one is Resort B. It's, um, well, it's the hardest level in the whole run. Um, everything's really cycle-based. Um, and if you fall off cycle, you're basically stuffed. And you can't really make your strats much safer without losing a whole cycle, so... I put a lot of practice into this one. I actually got world record on this level this morning while I was practicing for this. 157, by the way. Ah. Um, the death cycles are notoriously bad because you're not used to them and a lot of the time they're just not as neat as the entry cycle is. See, now I'm thrown off for the rest of this room. That's yeah, tricky. Really tough. Yeah, this is that's what makes this level the hardest in the run, really. It's all the. Sometimes you can, like, backtrack to the last room to reset the entry cycle, but other times I've lost from doing that, and it's just. It's easy to get really tilted here. If you just notice, we just went above the level. Um, there are no spikes up there, and you can do that. We're coming up on the heart rune soon. Um, it's got these key coins in it, but I'm going to skip them. At least I'll try to. That one, there's kind of a setup for it, but it only means that you'll get a shot at it, like, it's still going to be frame perfect. Oh, that was, that was still absolutely fantastic. I don't even want to say how long it took me to even beat that stage at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad you liked it. Next up is Chapter 4, The Golden Ridge. Um... This level is a huge pain in any descent, but here we get to avoid most of the really annoying parts. Uh, that trick's called Archie, by the way. It's very popular in the community. Um, it's named after somebody's pet bird. Anyway, the tape's up here. And um, we're already out of here. <clears throat> now we're on to Ridge B. It's pretty fun. Um, um, it's got a lot of auto scrollers in it, um, but it also has some fun skips, and the music's pretty good too. Yeah, the soundtrack for this game is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, definitely. Taz actually skips this arrow block. Don't ask me how that's possible. A 
on that. That was unfortunate. Again, like... <laughs> oh well, let's you got to see more of that room. <laughs> I mean, honestly, watching this, I'm just, I'm just constantly stunned seeing how rapidly you're executing everything and flying through these. I'm gonna try a thing here. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get it. Well, wow, I was not expecting to get that. Um, I've been calling that strat fourth lockless. It um, only saves about one second over the normal strat. It's a high-end IL type thing, which um, I told myself I wasn't supposed to go for, but it somehow worked out anyway. <laughs> Now we're entering the last checkpoint, um, the Eye of the Storm. This is the heavy wind section of Ridge B. Here there's a skip where we first do a corner jump to turn on the wind, and then again to make it all the way here so we don't need the A point. Are you actually jumping off of the corner of walls with spikes? Um, yep, yeah, basically you can jump off the um, wall behind the spikes because um, um, directional, directional spikes don't hurt you if you're moving the same direction that they're pointing. Fantastic, wow. Yeah, that went reasonably well. Let's get some cheers in the chat. This is absolutely off the walls. Yay. <clears throat> and you know what goes great with cheers? A few more donations for this fantastic cause. Now we're in we're in temple now. Um, Temple and as well as Chapter 6, Reflection, are the same as they are in any percent, but there's still a lot of um, fun stuff going on here. Um, I went for the cutscene glitch there. I... it didn't quite go right, but... If you do it well, you can land on top of the button there. I also missed the fun strat where you go really fast, but no one can agree what the name is. But, never mind. Um, Temple B is probably the most well-known because, um, everybody does it at any percent because it's easier than Reflection B, usually, and, um, saves more time. And because of that um, significance to any percent, it's got a very... It's very optimized, and a lot of tricks have been found, which I, I just did like three of them in a row there, and it totally... 
I don't even know where to begin explaining like everything that just happened in the last three or four screens. Sorry. <laughs> well, that seems to be a theme uh, with this game and how fast it is. Is there time for a short announcement? Um, uh, there's one thing at the end of this room, and then there'll be time. Okay, so here um, we save and quit um, because there's a little waking up animation that takes a couple seconds, and we can skip it um, by doing a save and quit. Okay, now one. Would be good. All right, so I've just received word that we have a new donation incentive, the Wind Waker file name, Cats vs. Dogs. So vote for your species and let's get those in. Oh my god, I just got pillars skip first try. That was another crazy IL strat, which... I wanted to go for because I wanted to show it off, but I didn't expect to get it first try. Now we're in the Theo section. Um, Theo is not behaving, but whatever, we'll deal with it. I'm going to try for, for, for a fast cycle in this heart room. Yes, I got it. It's not super hard, but it's a little finicky to get the right, um, to get the entry just right. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Amazing. But that's chapter five. Next. Um, Reflection A has a couple of notorious tricks in it, but um, mostly it's short and sweet. Um, this is Lake Skip. Got that first try too, nice. up on Revo's nonsense. This will look really cool if I can get it, but um, it's usually no big deal if I can't. Well, I got the first part at least. Ideally, you'd want to like bounce off that one of those blocks in the middle, but anyway, you got the tape. Moving on. Yeah, there you have it. Wow. So how many uh, how many stages are left in this, or how many uh, worlds? Um, there's one more chapter after this, but it's the longest one. Awesome. Well, um, we are all cheering for you. Yeah, there are seven chapters in this in this run. Um, there are nine chapters in total in the game. Though. Reflection B is well. It's uh, very challenging, it's quite long, um, it's a lot of fun though. It's also done in any percent as I mentioned earlier, but um, people are like a lot more divided on it. Um, usually it's only like a few of the top people who do it, and some people who just like the level. Um, the reason is it's, it's very unforgiving, there are a lot of long deaths, and, um, it's very unfriendly to beginners, and it 
yeah, it's it's a harder route, basically. Now we're into the falling section. There are eight rooms, which are just this. There's not really much to say about most of these. Um, but we are coming up to the um, dev intended demo, which is where they put the spikes a little further apart than normal. That's the one just there. Um, the gap between them is eight pixels instead of instead of four, so you don't need to be a pixel perfect to get through anymore. And now we're on to the battle and fight. I think this part's really fun. What were you about to say earlier? Oh, I was going to read off a bit to the chat, but uh, let's hold up until uh, after the stage. Okay. We're coming up on Feather Skiff now. Um, usually you'd use that feather down there, but I don't need it. I've had races where I get horrifically tilted on this one screen. Um, yeah, something's not going right at the moment. Uh, well, out of there. Now we're on to the last checkpoint of this level. Um, the badly named Reprieve. Um, which is notoriously hard and has a hard trick on basically every room. It's just so awesome to see these levels seeing tricks that I never even knew existed. Yeah, um, I guess there are a lot of like lesser known tricks that um, only show up in obscure levels. Um, yeah, it's got the bump. Uh, we go for a really weird cycle in this last room. Called variously Rebo Cycle or Nero Cycle. Um, and I got it, so... That is absolutely excellent. Wow, good job. Thanks. And uh, a reminder to folks at home, uh, all of the donations that uh, are received today are going towards Global Giving's uh, COVID-19 Relief Fund. They're helping folks on the front line who are helping to battle this disease, and they're helping people most affected by it. So all of your donations are going to a really excellent cause to help folks who need it. Yay. Oh, and remember, incentive. Uh, you can vote to name the Wind Waker final name cats versus or uh, cats or dogs. So get your vote in there while you still can. So now we're in the summit. Um, everyone likes the summit. It's all happy and it's just a lot less stressful and more refreshing than Temple and Reflection work. Those are kind of have this kind of grim, oppressive atmosphere, whereas Summit is all happy. Everyone likes Summit. 
Summit A in particular is a bit of a breather. Um, there are little cutscenes in between each section of the level. Um, basically, each one's going to appear at a particular point in the animation each time. So you can just memorize when that is so you know when to skip it. If you skip too early, you retry instead and die and go back to the start of the room. So really don't want to do that. Not advised. This is 500 meters, which can be, can be a little challenging, but usually it's not too much trouble. Now, 1,000 meters brings back the brings back the dream blocks, which are they're always a fun mechanic. And wait, what happened there? Oh well, whatever. And here, a lot of the strats include um, doing hypers out of dream blocks, which I, I don't know if I explained what a hyper is, but. Um, I don't think we need to get bogged down in the details, but that's a cool strat I like to do. It's a um, it's an ultra out of the dream block double jump. I'm just trying to impress you with fancy words now. Um, oh, trust me, I, I think I think we are all very very impressed. If anyone's even half as impressed as I am, we're all very impressed right now. <laughs> okay, we just did another uh, demo dash clip there. Um, that one's got a really easy setup, so it's no problem. And here's where we leave the main path and go get the tape. That went pretty smoothly, actually. I think we're on like 36 pace. Maybe 35 if we get a perfect um, Summit B, but I don't think that's likely, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, let's see, and let's get some uh, cheers in the chat. I really love the music in this level. It doesn't really have too many hard tricks, but... Um, it's mostly just based on cool movement. I also like to um, keep counting the meters from where we left off. So I'd say we're in 2,000 meters right now. That's not what the game says, but the game doesn't really say any. There are also no cuts, cutscene skips between the sections anymore. Here we are in 2,500 meters. This is probably the hardest section. It might have been too low there, but it's fine. <clears throat> Here in 3000 meters, there's this little skip you can do. You kind of not bother with the right side of the screen. There actually is one place where you need to skip a cutscene, but it's kind of a special case. Um, 
Oh no, the these things are back. Um, mercifully though, this is the shortest section, I'm pretty sure. That jump there always makes me really nervous. Now this is 4,000 meters, I believe. Um, it's got this cute little auto scroller. I think it's... I like it. I, I don't think there's anywhere else in the game where they, have, where they have those on top of arrow blocks. At least not until you get to farewell, but whatever. This is the only room in the run with snowballs in it. We're into 4,500 meters now. Um, here, there's some... Um, there's some really precise bits, but overall it's not too bad. Yeah, this room is fairly hard. That bit at the beginning is fairly challenging, and the rest of the level is nerve-wracking, because you know that if you mess up, it will lose a heap of time, and you need to do the hard bit again. And now we're on the home stretch, 5,000 meters. We skip flag 19, or at least we try to. Oh, let's get the countdown in the chat. That was flag 13. It's kind of notoriously difficult the first time through it, but you can't really... there aren't really any speed strats there, so... There's an upper limit to how hard it can get. Flag 9 is another notorious one. Um, this first part's not too bad, but then it turns into, like, this stamina puzzle. I'm too low. There we go, that's better. That was a bit of a mess, but whatever. Now we're out of the funny wind and into the... That's where the game... This is where the game's supposed to teach you about um, wall bouncing, but we've been doing it the whole time. Pro strats. Um, this is the Flag 3 demo. Um, it's also a really easy setup, but... It looks awesome and fast, so... Flag 2, on the other hand, is a total nightmare. Definitely the hardest flag. Um, Bob, who I mentioned earlier, has some even crazier stuff for it, which I'm not going to touch. Um, normally it had finished the top of the mountain, but we keep going. That's the cutscene skip.
and I like to call this 5,500 meters. Um, it isn't its own checkpoint, it's just the heart room. Uh, and time. Wow, that was that was absolutely crazy. That thank you and congratulations on a fantastic run. The chat is just going off the rails right now. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad the chat are having fun. Yeah, let's give it up, chat. Let's get some cheers. Let's get some hype. Oh, and I think we got a donation in. We got a five dollar donation from Solus the Wolf saying, "Of course, dogs. Dogs are the dogs are best. Cats are pretty okay." Uh, we have we have tons of GGs Aurora in the chat. We have tons of Yay. hypes. We have tons of wow. Tons of applause. Uh, yeah, good job. Good job. Congratulations on that. Thanks. So we still have our incentive thing to do, don't we? I believe we do. Okay. So things are going to get like even more off the rails now. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to turn the timer off because it might just make us sad if we see it. Um, um, I want to show this off because it's, it's it's my favorite level and it's like so underappreciated. Oh, no. Yeah, I actually never learned um, the full game strats for this. I'm doing crazy IL strats all the time, except for that one, which um, you don't want to see the IL strat version of that. So there's going to be a lot of flailing around and missing tricks, but that's okay. This is here to show off the level and uh... I like to think that this is the king of the B side. It is an extraordinarily challenging level. Yeah, it's probably one of the hardest in the game. Oh no. Um, okay, so, backstory, there used to be, well, he's still around in some capacity, um, this mysterious player named Kyle, who would, um, he showed up one day in 2018 and pretty much only played this level and this one set of custom levels. But he came up with a lot of really cool stuff. Um, he was the first one to get um, sub four minutes on this level. Um, however, we now know that sub three minutes is possible. If any of you are up to the challenge, that's out there. I'm just watching with my jaw open as you just tear this game apart. <laughs> You're supposed to turn this to red mode, but um, it's both easier and faster without.
if you want to see me getting everything in a row, um, there is my IL run of this, which I am really proud of, by the way. Um, but, yeah. We're coming up to um, my favorite trick in the whole game. I call that blue skip. Um, it's another one of those cases where we were supposed to change it to red, but we decided not to. Um, it's a lot harder than the other time we do that, but... When I first found that out, I was just blown away that it was even possible. And also, it makes the spikes blue in the last room. Usually, they're red. And that's it. Wow. Wow. That is that is just... I, I don't even have words. I, I got nothing. I got nothing. That was incredible. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I'd like to thank, like, the whole team who is behind this. This is... Um, You've done a great job. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm sure everyone is really appreciative of that, and they absolutely they've been working really hard. Uh, but thank yeah. you so much, Aurora Dash, for coming for showing off uh, this incredible game, your fantastic skills, uh, and putting on a really great show. Thank you. So I think that's all. Um... All right. Yeah, well, uh, in the meantime, uh, well, we do have a few donations that came in, so I'll go ahead and read those. We have a $5 donation from Gambit017 saying, My youngest kitty cat has been sitting in my chair watching the marathon every time I've had to get up. So, cats. The dogs are still, still cool, too. And we have a $15 donation from Leaf Otter saying, Otters are like water dogs, right? <laughs> 